What's up guys, we're here in North PV at Goldust with my good friend Nate. I called <laughs> Ken a best friend, so I can't really call you a best friend uh, and we already posted that. So thank you so much <laughs> for having us. Uh, this is beautiful home, it was completed what, six months ago? This home was completed about six months ago. Um, it, was, uh, it was built by DNP Homes. Um, this was uh, the third one of his projects that, that we've gotten sold for him. And like all of the other ones, we couldn't get this finished before it was already sold. So That's uh, awesome. you're seeing the grand reveal before anybody else is. Um, obviously beautiful home. So when you guys build these homes with DNP. Are you guys part at all of the design process? Are you guys kind of saying anything what the market is kind of dictating design wise or, or floor plan wise or anything like that? Yeah, so they, they handle all their design uh, in house. Um, obviously, they're the ones working with the architects. Uh, the designer is going to interface with all the local brands. You're going to see all the high end brands in here, distinctive custom cabinets. Uh, Wolf, Sub-Zero, Pella Windows. Um, that stuff's all being handled by the builder. We're always, you know, like you do, giving feedback on what we're hearing, seeing out there for buyers. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, they uh, do a great job and they do it all in-house. Pretty mid-century modern design uh, at heart. So you've got a lot of uh, linear angles, a lot of lines, a lot of light play so you've got beautiful windows playing on the front and the back of this house um, the idea is that you can open up these sliders you can they uh, go all the way in these are they pocket to one panel to the last one okay yeah. and then uh, we also have a, a bifold over the bar that also opens up That's this awesome. house like most houses in arizona and paradise valley we can you know open it up and do as much indoor after living as you want so quiz how many wine bottles does this fit 480. see that's why he's a luxury agent the wine is the most important thing emptying it's way more fun than filling. <laughs> yeah so you have a, a leathered finish on these quartzite countertops um Everything in here is supposed to be super streamlined as it is. You know, you've got hidden panels on everything, two dishwashers, uh, you know, obviously freezer column, refrigerator column. Uh, we do have this really cool Ooh. hidden pantry here with, uh, it's a full actually butler's pantry. And then as we walk through, this was actually uh, a little uh, addition um, once we had sold it, the, uh, the owners wanted to, um, to kind of open this up into a little bar. So, uh, the, the initial plans called for a bar back here on that wall. They wanted to pull this peninsula out. Uh, and then it's got this beautiful bifold window, uh, that collapses and you can use as a pass through to the upper kitchen. Nice. So that brings me to the next question. Cause you guys pre pre sold this before the slab was in how much like changes can a buyer do when they come in like this? How Is long, it- uh... how, how long do you want the process to last? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the thing about changes, and this is really important for people to understand, is that in this market, everything has a lead time. So cabinets, windows, um, any changes that are gonna significantly change any kind of the design uh, are gonna cause big delays. And so that's one thing, um, you, know, you have to be aware of when you're when you're working for people who are developing and um, you know it, it's it's a lot easier if you think of this as a finished house and there aren't going to be any changes and it's just you have to trust and let them build it and yeah yeah and like with that it obviously helps that the builder has like previous projects that he can show what they look like and what the finishes are right yeah yeah yeah, yeah when you can walk in and see the product it's you know, this particular builder has got three more projects in the dirt in Paradise Valley right now, all the way up to $12 million. Um, they're not going anywhere. Uh, it's really important to have a good reputation behind you. Everything you'll notice in, in, uh, in all of DMP's builds is they always build in the pockets for blinds. Um, you know, these are little things that happen when you're framing. 
Uh, everything in here is automated. You've got all the speakers. Uh, the master's broken into two areas. We've got obviously the, the main part of the bedroom and then uh, this two-sided fireplace leads you to the sitting room of the master. Some freezer drawers, you've got trash where Eddie can see, uh, nice. the coffee maker, espresso. So Eddie, I was gonna say, you, you need a beverage fridge in here, but I think they need to fill it up a little bit. So Eddie can sit that. here, watch his, uh, Three crowns on TV in the in the World Cup. Canucks. <laughs> or the Canucks, yeah. For, forget where your buyer pool comes from. Yeah, yeah. But we're in June now. Canucks never plays in June. <laughs> oh, damn. So it's fine. <laughs> so there's a beautiful outdoor shower here. This private patio off of the master. And then we have one of the cooler showers uh, that, that uh, I've seen lately. It's huge. We actually have a funny picture of my little one-year-old son standing in here when it was being built. He looks like, you know, he's about. He's two old. now. I know. I know. And then uh, this also has a skylight in here, so you're getting a ton of natural light. It's playing on these, uh, the beautiful tile. Nice. fairly large road driving down here and I never thought because you kept kept telling me that you guys were gonna screen it off with the house you barely hear the street right and I didn't really believe you until I'm here now yeah. because this is like super private you don't really hear any cars or anything right so uh, tell me a little bit about the process with the backyard there. Sure, so just overall site plan. Um, obviously you wanna account for things like Invergordon, which is running to uh, to the east side of us. So a lot of the house actually buffers some of that road noise. Um, as far as these views, you know, we knew that there were mountain views um, and they were always going to be sort of the center focal point from behind the pool. Uh, as far as the pool goes, that was one of the changes that the uh, the buyers of this house actually extended this pool a little bit, made it a little bit bigger. Um, the original design kind of called for it to be a little bit shorter and that, that hot tub was kind of more uh, organized with the master sitting room. Um, I think it actually, it, it turned out amazing. Um, they wanted to have some of the palms around here. Obviously we're in Arizona. Yeah. You gotta have a tropical pool. Yeah. Um, and then just things like, you know, picking the right pebble tech, uh, picking the right water line tile. Uh, I think they did a great job as far as the, the overflow goes. Um, yeah, the, uh, the landscape is really lush, uh, especially, you know, Paradise Valley historically is sort of known for more natural landscaping and uh, this, this particular lot after the landscaping is all natural grass. Um, tons of trees. All of these ficus will actually, if we did the same thing at this point next year, you wouldn't even be able to see, you know, any part of that wall. So that ficus screen is gonna, is gonna grow out and up. Um, and uh, yeah, you can just enjoy. We have all the, uh, all the amenities that you would need out here. We've got um, three heaters, obviously a fire pit, outdoor kitchen, um, oh, the heaters are built in. I didn't even see that. Yeah, that. the heaters are flush. Actually, we have four. Uh, there's one over the master too. All of your speakers are built in. All the lights are built in. All the AV. Uh, so you've got six cameras here uh, catching everything. So, and then we didn't talk about that feature, but that's uh, actually the fifth bedroom is doubles as an exercise room. And then that glass comes apart at the corner and uh, right, so just you enter it from you enter it from outside amazing yeah no i love it got citrus eddie can go over there in his little citrus picking hat and he can get himself a, a lemon for his tequila i like my tequila <laughs> but yeah great place to sit enjoy have friends over have families over We've got a pretty uh pretty adequate baja shelf here um the pool's pretty deep i think it's about five and a half feet deep hot tub Big enough. So for... just barely for you. To... <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've got to wear swimmies.